I'm going to show you how to get electric organs pretty fast in Pal World. So the way to do this that I like to do this is you want to get a mount that is kind of fast and has uh, a basic ability like this one with the air cannon. You can use the deer, you can use a Melpaca, you can use a dire wolf, you can use the van worm. Uh, just something that you can ride around on that's decently fast that has a basic attack like this with a fast cooldown. And then there's this spot that I like to go to to farm at. It's called the Bridge of the Twin Knights. And what you'll do here is you'll come here, and then if you don't see anything good, you'll just fast travel away somewhere else. And come back again. And this will respot reset the spawn immediately. You don't have to run around. You don't have to, like, you don't have to reset it by running away and coming back really far, but you don't want to do that. Um, so what you can do is you come here, and you take a look around, and you see right here there's some Jolt Hogs. So that's perfect. So I'll go ahead and get both these Jolt Hogs. And then after that, if you have a faster mount, you can jump on and take a quick little look around. But if not, then go ahead and just get whatever was right here. And then fast travel away somewhere else again. And then you're going to fast travel back and check the immediate area to see if there's any electric pals right here. And the reason I do this particular spot is because I've noticed it frequently has electric pals right nearby. You see, is that another one? Yeah, that's another Jolt Hog over there. And I think I only got one on this cycle. But it's a pretty consistent way to just farm out the electric organs. Now, if you want to and you want to just run around and get a bit more, it's a little bit slower to do it that way. But that whole section, let me fast travel back again real fast. That whole section of the map has a lot of electric enemies. So if you come here and already I see two more right there, that's perfect. But you can farm this whole section of the map right here that I'm zoomed in on. And there's a lot of electric enemy spawns here. But again, this spot right here, I got a really good cycle just now. So let me get these two. I'll show you what I mean, unless those despawn just now on the left. So we got two right there. And then if you go over here, you see there's three more over here. So this was a really good cycle just now. Oh, there's four more over here. So this is like the best case scenario cycle. And just like that, I was able to get another probably four. Sometimes you can get two, two from one, but maybe not on those particular enemies. But there were another four electric organs. So just now, in the period of time that I've been sitting here talking to you and explaining this, I've already got, what was it, like ten? Eight of them? Something like that. Eight to ten of them. But that's actually not the only way to get electric organs. So if you're still sticking around, there's actually another way you can do it. So you can go to this place here called the Small Settlement. Not the only place you can do it, but it's the easiest, earliest game and most consistent one you can go to. So you can go here. And then you can go to the back of this place. I can get off this mount. There we go. Okay. If you go to the back of this place, there's this is shack right here with a wandering merchant. Now, this one's just a static spawn, so that's why I like to go to this one. You can buy from him if you have gold coins, and he sells electric organs for 200 each. So if you have a good way of getting gold, then you can go here and spend it on electric organs. One thing that's worth a lot of money is the endgame spheres. Even just hyper spheres are worth a ton of money each. So if you want to, you can farm metal and then make spheres and then sell spheres. That's a basic way to make money, at least if you really need a way to make money just to get started. But yeah, if you get a bunch of gold coins, you can go here and you can buy the electric organs instead. And between that and the other spot that I showed you, you should be able to get all the electric organs you could ever need. So whichever way you want to do, that's up to you. But now you know the best ways to get electric organs in Power World.